Hello everyone, and welcome to my Oriental Empires playthrough. So I've had this game for a couple weeks now, but I haven't really had much chance to play it because my workload has increased twicefold, and I was still m messing with Mountain Blade at the time. Since the game is still in early access, I wasn't too compelled to play either because they may add some new things down the line. But anyway, let's begin now. So, the Grand Campaign covers from the Shang Dynasty to the Zhou, and then the Spring and Autumn and Warring States period. After that, there's nothing after the Chun. So, I was kind of disappointed when I saw that because the uh, game was advertised to have, oh, a rich 3,000 years history, yada yada yada. But, well, I mean, I guess I can understand that there's nothing before Shang because the Xia Dynasty is, well, kind of a fairy tale dynasty, and it's got nothing written about it. So, it's kind of like a fairy tale told by fairy tale girls after they beat your ass in a Pokemon battle. You don't want to trust that horrible person. Don't listen to anything she says. Anyway, so that's why we begin with Shang Dynasty, the first recorded dynasty. And, well, but the ones after Chun, like the Han Dynasty and the uh, Three Kingdoms, they're not being there, it made me a little sad because those are my favorite periods for obvious reasons. But since the game, like again, is in early access, I'm sure they'll come. Hopefully. But anyway, so among these factions, the Shang and Zhou are the early dynasties, and from my, uh, Look at, from uh, one look at them, you can see that they're easy factions. They have no detriments, but their benefits are also kind of bland. Whereas Warring States and uh, uh, Spring and Autumn and Warring States, they have more benefits, but they also carry a detriment on them. Or in Trin's case, two detriments. But I think the uh, increased combat effectiveness may actually be strong enough to uh, offset that. Well, we'll see about that when we get there. Anyway, another complaint that I have is that among the Warring States, there's only three of them. Three out of the seven. The Han Dynasty. Again, that's not the Han Dynasty. The Han Dynasty are just losers who lost first. And I, I, so I don't know why they're prioritized over the others. But anyway, they got their asses kicked. Then there's the Chul Dynasty. Uh, Chul Kingdom, not Dynasty, sorry. The Chul Kingdom is actually a really big kingdom. They're the direct rivals of Trin and also the last ones to fall. Now these guys are more worthy and I also play as them, but we'll talk about them in a bit. Then there's Chun, of course, the big winners, they killed, they kicked everyone's ass, oh yeah, that's why they're there. And then there's Shu and Wu, they're not part of the seven warring states, they're kind of like little city states that just was hanging around during the period. Not sure why they are prioritized over the others, but anyway, they're not the same as the ones in the three kingdoms, so yeah. This place, this uh, game only covers up to the end of Chun dynasty, so there's that. Anyway, let's begin now. So I will play as a Chu Kingdom, and Chu has a cultural development increase of 20%. Naval, they can kill people by 15%. I'm not sure what that means exactly. Maybe one of their blows have a 15% chance to kill someone instantly. <laughs> I'm not even sure. We'll see when the time comes. They also have increased noble happiness, but they pay with a reduced combat effectiveness by 10. So when I look at them, I thought, oh man, they, they're great builder factions, but them, being like Liu Biao, sits on their ass all day in Jing province and don't really expand. So I figured to myself, well, I respect Chu a lot, I also like Shang Yu a lot, but too bad, it's not the ass-kicking faction uh, at the end of the uh, Chun period, it's really just us playing as Liu Biao. But I figured it's a good way to start it as any, because I need to play 200 turns to actually unlock the Chun. So, this will be our first playthrough. Now, I played this game for about 10 minutes, so I've I've known a couple of things that's uh, going on in this game. So, we'll start by uh, going to our capital, Danyang, and we'll build some farms. So, if anything Civ 5 has taught us, is that we need food. Food is very important, so I prioritize that quite highly. Now, now that farms are being built, Let's go into internal structures, or not, not internal structures, these are external structures. <laughs> like, these buildings, pavilion, but these seems like places that are really just for entertainment and trade, which we don't really need to work on right just now. But look, a copper pit, what is this for? What would this place do for me? Generate incomes of 20, okay. Produce copper for trade. Okay, you've had me sold. I will build something there now. So that'll take eight turns. 
Now let's get some buildings in the way. Uh, currently, we have a lot of uh, unhappiness, unrest, with the nobles and peasants. So we need to take care of that quickly. And the first ad, the best way to do so is to build a palace, which asserts our authority. It also uh, allows us to get uh, noble, mil militia, and palace recruitment pools. So we should build one of those. But unfortunately, I think I ran out of uh, ran out of resources. So for the time being, I guess I'll leave that alone for the time being. But we definitely need a granary. That's for sure. Get that. And now, am I completely out of money? It seems like I've completely run out of myself out of money, so let's go and build units now. Let's see here. We have settlers, militias. Oh, these guys don't cost me anything. They only cost upkeep, so it appears. Resources, they look like bags. I'm not sure how this works out, but for now, we'll recruit a number of them. And we'll also get these uh, settlers recruited. So maybe I won't build so many farms after all. Let's go back here. Take some of them away. Hmm, the copper pit is what's really costing me. Here, maybe I will cancel that. The farms don't seem to cost me any money, huh? So I guess I'll just leave that alone. I think, while I really like the copper pit... I need to get some settlers out, so let's start building settlers. So I think I will... Eh, you know what? Let's cancel these guys first. We'll get settler out first, and then we'll get these guys to cover them. There. Okay, let's begin. Units orders have been done. Now here I have a warrior. And here I have a settler. The object right now is to get as many territories as possible. So treat this like Civ 5 and start getting some territories. Now yellow, when you mark a uh, character's movement, are movements that you can move during this turn. So let's see. I've set my unit's orders. Let's do some researches. Let's research. So you can do up to four researches. Now, let's see. Flood control. Yeah, I think we'll need flood control, considering the fact that we live right next to a river. That'll come in handy. You with bronze making, precious metal work, jade, silk. We'll go bronze making because we have this uh, nice copper place nearby. Hopefully that'll come in handy, but I don't really have the time to read all the descriptions at the moment. Yin and Yang. Eh, we'll go with that. Increase culture by one. And it unlocks other things too. Most importantly though, I decided to go with yin and yang because this allows me to unlock additional things in the green knowledge tree. Each, each technology tree has something on the side that comes from other technology trees that you need in order to unlock them. So, in putting points into yin and yang, I can also learn something down here, like uh, like astronomy or the five elements. These will come in handy, so let's go with that. Anyway, now that all my research has been taken care of, let's see, what else is there? Imperial Edicts, the Grand Commandant. Unit and cancel, it cost me upkeep, it... There's also no reason for me to do it at the moment because a ruler cannot be everywhere at once, but he certainly can be at his capital, and this capital is currently my only territory. So worry, worry about the Grand Kamadot when the time comes. Uh, here we have our player info, victory, influence, automation. Oh, I can automate these as well, huh? Auto manage new settlements, automate farming. Right now, I won't do any of that. We will. Oh, actually, it may not be such a poor idea. Hmm. Actually, it might not be such a poor idea. I want to see how the AI does it. So, let's go back there again. I'll keep technology for myself at this time. I want to look at them. But we will automate new settlements and uh, farming. Okay, let's begin. Turn 2. Order execution phase. 
So what makes this different from Civ 5 is that at the end of your turn, these are, you get these uh, execution phases. Basically, after you've told your units to move somewhere, they'll take their sweet-ass time to go there. I guess you could speed it up. So these are simultaneous end turns. Now, what this means is that you have to predict, if you're in a war, you have to predict where the enemy is going in order to actually fight them, which is, I thought, kind of kind of silly. But you know what? This will really benefit ranged units. I think they can just sit there and... Whatever comes near their uh, fuel veal, they can fire at them. Now, here's the next thing about settlers that are different from Civ 5. Now, I learned this earlier uh, when I was playing for like 10 minutes that settlers can only build in special locations, these possible settlement locations. So let's get our settlers over there now and build a settlement. Now, let's see, should I cross the river or should I? Yeah, I guess it's fine because I'm building things over here. They'll cover my settler when they come out. So let's use this chance to explore a little. We'll cross the river now. My technologies are being done. My buildings are being done. Should I build defenses? And eh, nah, we'll leave that alone for the time being. Okay, let's go. Next turn. Once we get established, I'll probably start skipping turns because I I plan to play this like like Sim City, like like just not really going to war or anything. We can save that for the trend playthrough later. For this playthrough, it's more or less about understanding the game and how it plays. All right, let's build the settlement now. Now we have the settlement Ying being produced. Now they say they'll automate this place, so we'll see how that turns out. I guess if I don't do anything, they'll they'll build something at the end of the turn. Well, I'm willing to give them one turn to uh, show me this. Forts, farms done. Hmm. All right, let's go next turn. New air. So my new heir is Zhu Zhong. Nominate as your leader's heir. Should the leader die, he will assume power with the minimum of disruption. Good. It's good to have an heir. But other than that, I haven't had any new things going on. Let's take a look at Ying and see if the AI has started building something. Buildings? No, I don't see anything in the construction queue. Is it because I don't have enough resources? Or... Oh, I see. They were building something there. They were building farms there. Hmm. Now, if it was me, I would have a grain rebuilt. But then again, maybe it's because they don't have enough income. That's why they haven't done it yet. Interesting. Perhaps I'll leave this running and see what happens. I don't know what happens if you were to run out of income, the bag icon. So it'll be interesting to see. What is this resource? Counter opportunity. Okay, let's see. Maybe those are like the ruins in Civ 5. So let's go there now. So what does this show us today? How do we encounter, actually? So this hex to in initiate the encounter. Well, then what? What do we do? Oh, move a character, like, uh... But that is my character. Now, how do I go ahead and initiate this encounter. Do I wait a turn there? I guess I'll wait a turn there and we'll see what happens. New constructions done, just farms. Oh, wait a minute, what am I looking at? There's auto construction, I, I see it now. Growth? 
Auto construction, I can go to growth, culture, and income. Defense, military, ah, there we go. There we go. Yep, so it's been automated, it just doesn't show. Alright, the granary is done soon. Not sure when the settler is done, though. Oh, maybe they have to wait until all the units in that line is done before they actually come out. Hmm, now I'm confused. <laughs> How do we get those units out? Are they already produced or are they not? Oh yeah, they're already done a long time ago. Okay, let's go elsewhere then. I guess it doesn't take that many turns to build units. So, yeah, this game, not being Civ 5, is kind of hard for me to uh, understand at first. Now, let's see, is there any resources here? There's some here. Wild game. That controls it or has adjacent territories. So, if any, this is any indication, it seems that two spaces is the... Uh, enter this terrain so they have to cross over there and they cross over here huh, that's weird. I would have loved to move over there but I guess that such thing is not gonna happen how about this let's expand northwards hmm no, let's let's expand southwards. The north probably has a lot of other factions sitting around. We need to make sure they expand as much as possible before other people get get their hands on this territory. But you know what? Instead of sending them all out though, I'll leave a couple to defend just in case. This now. Oh, that they're probably talking about this stat. Uh, yeah, we'll do it. Let's see what happens. So, what happened to our encounter? There are no encounters. I don't know how to actually cause the encounter to happen. Oh, ah, I see. You have to double click on it. All right. My lord, I fought many battles and leave many armies and really army too, but my craft's a dangerous one, so my reward must be considerable. Very, very, very nice, but I don't need it. Okay, now I know how encounters work. You have to go next to the area and you have to click on this thing. Let's check out the other encounter then. Well, our expansion continues. We can't build another settler at this time, huh? Ah, so you can also make them spawn on the west gate, the garrison, etc, etc. Interesting. But right now I need settlers. This place can't even recruit. Alright, I guess we need more populations for more settlers. I highly doubt enemies can cross. Oh, then again, there's no telling if there's enemies coming from this way. For now, we'll just use this guy to block off that this location. Serve as a scout and keep enemies from coming from this side. You dare do the same thing. Just sit around for a bit. All right, now our orders have been given. Let's go. So the area to the right doesn't seem too bad either. Maybe I should get a settler down there. So far I haven't seen any settleable areas over there. this tell me anything? Hmm. Let's go there now and see what's, what's up. Done. 
Let's see, yin and yang is done. Wei Qi increased the Qi of all new leaders. Not sure what Qi is. Maybe it increases their uh, resource. Maybe each leader has a resource. Hmm. That's cute. I would do Wei Qi, which is go. But, uh. No, let's wait for later. Currently, I only have the leader and his heir. So there's no reason to get that quite just yet. Let's work on increasing our authority first. Let's talk about divination. Since we have a cultural buff of 20% extra culture, we finish our culture research first. Now let's go. Uh, stack without orders. Oh god, please, which one is it? Oh, this one I was just telling him to sit, sit on their asses. Perhaps I should go with, don't show me again. Of course, now these guys are not crossing the river for some reason. Ah, there are two locations here. I wonder if there's a location over there where the two games are. I can get there. Hopefully I can develop a good city. Oh yeah, this place has a million constructible uh, areas. Progress craft. All these things are done. Let's go and get some new things. So this thing can allow us to build bronze armor. What is this? Precious metalwork. Culture, increased value of bronze trade. Aid working. Silk. Man, there's, this game is too intense for me. There's so much stuff here. I have to take some time to actually understand this game. Pottery? Let's do that, because I have a bronze place nearby, or a copper place nearby. Maybe that'll come in handy. No. Astronomy increases authority and it prevents any adverse effects from eclipses and comets. I'm not sure what this means exactly, but... Well, if that's the case, then I should get rid of any RNGs that will cause me trouble. Do that. We'll work our way down to the others. Can we build any new units? Not quite. We need money. Oh no, we have money. What else? Keeping me from recruiting this. I guess I'll wait a turn and see what happens. I'm not familiar with what's going on in this game at this time. No idea what these stupid little bags are. I have no idea what this is. Oh, you know what? Let's take a look. Taxes. Journal building. Next in eight. Ah, I see what this means. In eight turns, they'll allow me to build a uh, settler if I so wish. Okay, that makes perfect sense now. It seems like you don't actually build them, per se. They kind of get spawned after a little bit, and then you can just send them out. Interesting. For now, let's keep our standing army not too big. We just need enough people to uh, watch the borders, make sure bandits don't come over. Now... Let's go to that encounter. There's some grapes here as well. I should probably get some uh, settlements settled there. Let's see what these grapes do. Oh, the mulberry. Increase the value of any silk produced at a settlement which controls it. Hmm. 
Now, let's see what this encounter is. Greetings, famous lord. As you may have heard, I've developed new technologies. I will teach you craftsmen my secrets. I ask you to cover the cost and give a little something for my old age. Alright, well, $72 for precious metal work? I, well, I guess I was working on it, but well, now that that's done, I can get something else. Ah, irrigation. Create a system of channels that distribute water. Irrigated farms. That could be useful. Let's do that. It seems like power, besides just military, also helps out a lot with growth. Hmm. Now I can see why the Trin faction has is quite strong that they need two detriments. Because power is such a good tree. Hmm. Alright, we'll get irrigation. Jade working. Silk. Yeah, let's get that silk. After all, we saw those mulberries nearby earlier. We should take advantage of them. Begin. Let's see here. There's rough terrains over there. I don't think we can get anywhere here. Oh no, we can cross over there. Interesting. We shall do so now. We need to explore the area around as much as possible. Meanwhile, ah, so it appears that we can get those games. Alright, we'll move next to this area and see what's going on up ahead. I'm not sure how borders grow. Oh man. I hope that when Civ 6 comes out, it's going to be something that I won't have to learn so much about. I'm, I'm confused here at every turn. That's just how it is when you only have time to play. Oh, what is this? Brainery. Needs quite a few resources though, we'll leave that alone for the time being. Ah, okay, I see. So each city has its different income and expense as well. Interesting. Build roads, clear land. Oh. Most interesting. So cities have a lot of functions. You don't need workers in this game, but cities themselves can take care of it. Interesting. I guess I'll explore the territory north a little tiny bit, and then we will create a city near this mulberry, and then we'll just stop exploring north altogether. I'd like to figure out the lands of the south. After all, my country, uh, my state controls the Jing province. There's no reason why I don't settle the uh, southern Jing provinces. Alright, again. I haven't encountered any bandits yet. How interesting. On my first, 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 first playthrough, there was some bandits. They're like, kind of like barbarians. They just kind of wander around and they raid, pillage your farm. Anyway, let's build a city here. Nanyang! At four entrances that must be defended to successfully defend one from the next made Maximum of four. So you want to make sure that your settlements have some walls. For now, we'll leave these guys here to watch over this place. Until we get a new settler out. I suppose it won't hurt to build one militia unit to take a look seas in the area. They take 15 resources. Well, then again. Yeah, let's do that. Let's, let's scout the areas first. What is this? Hopper. Ah, uh, okay. Perhaps we can get a city here. Then I can get both the mulberry and the copper. Interesting. Ch 
check around this point. Now I have to keep an eye on the construction of additional settlers. I'll need to exp expand as much as possible, so in six turns I need to get something ready. Okay, let's go. Ah, there's another river here. Oh, okay, now I have a better understanding of where I actually am. I'm in the area where, where it seems to be where uh, Xinye is. Let's take a look at near the area around the copper. I don't like doing this, but I really think I should explore more. Okay, let's explore the Jing and Wu territories. Let's see what we can discover. Sound. We discover something? Ah. We discover the Han. They're hostile. We've encountered a previously unknown power. Let us hope they're either weak or friendly. Well, I know they're weak, but I don't think they're friendly. Worst comes to worst, we will bash their brains in. Let's see. What is this? Ah, there are those bandits we talked about. Okay, let's make sure we have some defenders out now. Uh-oh. Ah, oh, they can start building settlers? Interesting. Well, while we go out to stop these enemies, we might as well get these guys read out as well. So on the next turn, these two will be produced. Militias. Okay, for now, we'll worry about our border defenses, and then we will worry about building buildings inside the... Yeah, city. So I think I need to drag my men back now. And the land's better. I'll keep this guy here just in case. This is a scout. A scout shall take a look, see what's going on over there. If they intend to come up this way, they'll run into the scouts. Oh, but there's two units. Maybe not. That would be a problem if they were to run into my guys. Hmm, what should I do? Shall I pull this guy back for the time being and loop up with him? <sighs> I don't like doing that, but let's do that. Ah, so it seems like once you give the order, you can pump him out this turn. Interesting. Hey, let's see if we can build on those mulberries. Huh? This time, though, I think I'll just sell her unescorted. Hopefully the Han won't be weird. If they do, I will break them. I swear I will break them, because that's basically a declaration of war, where I crush their skulls, and even though I have a 90% war. Said, let's get these guys out as well. These people will just keep watch for the time being, but I guess it won't hurt to move up a little bit to get a little more detail. All 
Alright, all units orders are ready. Next turn. Nope, so there's a battle. Ah, I see you battle just by being near each other. You don't have to step on them or anything. Our unit here is small and weak. We can't do anything at this time. So they may take some damage from that. Oh, but wait, what is this? Did we just chase them away and then they chase us away? Oh, I don't even know what happened. But after this turn, we will find out. Battle report, please. Let's see here. Narrow defeat. Oh, so one tiny unit is able to hold off those bandits? Interesting. Alright, front and back. Don't let them get away. Not at full strength, move into a territory of friendly settlement to start replenishing. Okay, good. I'll keep that in mind. Settlers, is there a place you can settle? Be one over there, but that's not good. Hoping to get the mulberries. Maybe uh, this territory will expand itself and get to them. Oh yeah, now that I think about it, maybe it's an external building. Oh, it's not. Hmm. Well, let's move them up, and we'll see. The truth will reveal itself. Danyang. Station art scouts over here. Buildings. I am currently quite low on resources, so we've been expending a lot of resources. Alright, next turn then. Hai Chi, energy, braiding, boost the fighting power of troops in battle. Ah, okay, I understand. Alright, hopefully the units in front can cut them off and hold them down while our units in the back. Oh wait, actually I can do this. Ha! Huh. Oh. Let's cut them off wherever they go. Alright, begin the movement. So this is the battle and how it works in this game. It seems like... Yeah, this is nothing like Total War, but you uh, basically have to plan out what you need to do at the end of the turn and predict the enemy movements. So I don't know where some people got the whole it's like Total War thing here, but it's not. This thing is a unique system all by itself, at least from uh, my experiences. Yeah, look at the way they fight, oh yeah! We'll just let the guys in the front fight while the guys in the back just jiggle a little. Whoop. Okay, the units from this side will now attack them. Hopefully that'll work out. Or at least I think that's how it'll work. I'm not too sure. Oh no, wait. That's, not... that's the enemy units. What happened to the units that I told to go there? to take their time. I really don't understand how this system goes. Oh, wait, no, they're gonna fight again. Interesting. Ah. Since these units are nearby, they'll also fight as well. Interesting. So, after a battle, then there will be a movement phase, and after the movement phase, any units that are nearby will fight, as it appears here. But it seems like they choose whatever they see in front of them. I have to be careful. And now I understand what why they need you to do uh, 
movement. I mean, uh, they want you to uh, set the direction to your units. Alright. Will my units encounter these guys and fight them? Interesting, let's see. No. Greetings, fellow sovereign. Let us inform each other the location of capital cities, a gesture of trust, and ease future relations. Alright. A wise decision. I want to know where the hell you are so I can deal with you if need be. Ah, so that's where you are. Good. Save soon the trouble. Have the explorer up there to find out that. Oh, oopsie daisy. There's a guy there already. This will work. Now, is there any buildable territories besides there? Hmm, this is kind of awkward. I really wanted to get the mulberry, but I guess we won't seeing those anytime soon. Alright, in that case, let's start getting the Jing province systems down. I don't really see the need to uh, get too many cities in contested territories. We'll go south. Alright, let's change the direction. This time we make sure that they don't get any further down our territories. Something like this, perhaps. I don't think anyone will attack Nanyang at the moment, now that I know that Han is, Han is to the north. So perhaps using this to explore isn't such a bad This won't explore too far away. This unit can probably return... Uh, actually, no. Let's cut off their escape. Then we don't can't cross the river. Hmm. We'll leave these guys to take care of this. Let's return to base for the time being. Go up and then return again. Two units here should be enough. Actually, no, this is a big area. I do need to get this place covered. Well, I guess I'll send another unit once the bandits have been taken care of. And then we'll explore the areas to the right, the Wu territories, and to the south. Let's see here. More mil militias. We'll wait until the settler is taken care of. How about this? Next in 14 turns, militias can be built. Do now. This militia will be used to explore the south. You can also set formations, as I saw earlier. What are formations? In can't really set formations, set for these units. Maybe they're for uh, specialized units. Oh, I don't see an option to set my formations. Oh, maybe you need multiple units to set formations. Awkward, but for now, let's return to base and explore the south. I've seen enough of the north. I don't really need to see more. You will stand guard here to make sure that no ridiculous people come. And you will guard the entryway into Shu. This unit. Boring. Okay. Technology warning. Increase culture by learning the Yi Jing. I want to get more authority, but everything here seems to be all about culture. National myth! 
Yellow Emperor, we talked to four brothers, four, four bears, and Increase authority by two. Priest King! Able edicts relocate nobles. Virtue of all new leaders. Enlist a she! Aulus Temple Moism Confusionism. Civil Service Examinations. Oh boy. This is so intense. I'm not even sure what any of these things are. Alright, let's first, I guess, start getting Priest King out of the way. Some authority would be very handy. In with Shamanism. Again. Okay, so with my movement set, five of these units will now enter battle. I'm guessing they're moving to flank them. Or they're not moving to flank them, they're just joining the battle. Hmm. Well, we far outnumber them, so they're not gonna live for very long. We will crush them under flight. Oh, they're trying to run away. They're gonna run into these guys? This battle system needs to explain themselves a little better. I, I quite don't understand yet. Alright, so that's that. So now these guys have formed a stack. These bandits have not been wiped out. As long as they're there, it pisses me off and I want to remove them. Crushing victory. Let's let these guys heal for a bit. Actually, they said that you just need to be in the territory, right? You don't even need to move away. We'll find that out soon. Victor health. Not. I'll just remember that it the health is like this. We'll just stay within the territories and see what happens next turn. Okay, explore the south. Continue. We'll just explore in every which direction I feel. Billions coming in next turn. Billions coming in 13 turns. An Yang, what have you got? Nothing. What is this? I thought I told you to automate farms. Oh, maybe they are. They just. Time. Okay, well, with that set, let's move out. Actually, let's change the direction of these guys first. Which way is forward for you? This way? Okay, good. We'll leave you guys to stare at this location for a bit. And what is this? More coppers. In fact, there's no way to go any further in this territory. How interesting. Okay, we should send a settler there when we have a chance and build a city. Oh yeah, you have to cross over all these ways just to get there. Okay, looks like I have left a guy here for no apparent purpose. Set a waypoint for him here. Let's go. They can also age and eventually die. It can lead armies and stuff like that. Hmm.
Alright, let's get the settlers out. Oh, but wait, I can't do it. Why? Why not? Wait another turn? Not enough resources? Not enough gold? Ah, oh, not enough gold. Okay, so that's what happened. Losing six gold a turn. I guess I have too many uh, military units out. Sickness and Ying. Oh no, wait. Uh, oh, it's just a terrible. That would not be refunded. Oh, fuck. Well, screw you, automation. Ugh. I hope we find some way to make some money soon, because otherwise we're gonna be in trouble. Well, first things first, let's get the settlers taken care of. Which reminds me, where are they? Fraternal Harmony Pact. Now we have a pact to not declare war, nor block trade routes, nor loot farms. Okay. We'll keep things as it is. I have no interest in messing with them. I have an interest in making money, though, so that I can build a seller. So now that I have money pro being produced again, hopefully that'll be the case. And this game is way too intense. I have no idea what's going on. I, I'm going every which way at the moment. Oh, what is this? I spotted some uh, rhinoceros. Interesting. Let's get a uh, settler over there. Build a town, and then we get a new settler. We'll explore to the south here as well. Since I spotted rhinoceros, we will get something here now. What do they do? Very tough, they can be used to armor or protective clothing. Receive an income of 60 per turn. Alright, now that all of our movements are set, let's go there now. Oh yeah, that's right, I remembered I didn't check on that unit. Oh, did I not? Did I already move them away? Uh, I must have moved them away by accident, I have just... Not... That was healed? This has healed a little bit, so it does heal, but that wasn't down. Crap, I shouldn't have moved that other guy earlier. I don't, now I don't even know where he is. Did I even move him? Did it just, just simply disappear? Oh, this game is too intense for me. Now let's go and... Craft. Aid working. Perhaps that could be useful. We'll do that. Knowledge. Hot cold theory. 10% casualties suffered in a victorious battle are healed. Peace outbreak. Reduce effects. Ah, that could be useful. We'll do that. Hot cold theory.
Right, all orders are completed. Move out! Chi increase. An encounter. We'll go over there to see what's up. Now that I think about it, is there even fog of war in this game? I situated those guys over there to make sure that no one comes. But... If there's no fog of war, there's no real purpose to leave them there. Hmm... Yeah, is there even fog of war in this? Let's... In that case, here, let's try something different. Let's go with Auto Explore. We'll see where our exploration unit will go. Alright, with that done, let's see, our units are still traveling around. Instead of that, let's worry about getting more civilians out. I want those settlers out, and I want them now! Let's see, in two more turns I can get one. Do that then. I saw a description not too long ago. Oh, there it is. Culture. Increase your culture, increase your victory point, increase happiness. Uh, trade with other powers with superior culture gaining much more interesting authority measure of your central government's opposing you know, edicts limits the size of the empire that you control if you have more settlements than your authority scores you will suffer noble unrest and possibly revolt ah so I should probably get another point in uh, authority before creating a new city Still need a little bit more time to get that one. Is there another way for me to uh, get more authority? Well, for now we'll leave this as it is. I'm sure one extra settlement won't hurt. Not to mention this fucking settlement needs to take its time to get over there in the first place. A suggestion. Recruit another settler. Pushing south will lead you to the Great Yangtze River. And must be clear. Long-term domination of the river will be very beneficial. Yeah, I learned all about that already. Encounter. Oh yeah, that's right. There's an encounter. Let's talk about that. I will not take a famous warrior. You cost too much for some for this current moment. Later, I'll worry about war, but now I just want to build. 
build, build, and build. Can I cause an encounter if I go there? It doesn't have to be a character, right? All these lands to the south seems to be wild, undeveloped lands. I want to get something near the rhinoceros, so let's move out. Explorations, our units are moving at full force. I won't build another settler if uh, my authority becomes an issue, so I guess I'll leave that alone for a bit. I need to get some money anyway. Seedling transplantation. Increase food production by 5%. Walls, rammed earth walls. We are currently not fighting, so we don't have to about that. So this military drill would be very handy. I think I will get this just for the sake of having authority. You know, I think, I think I can understand a little bit more about why Chun has a uh, increase in power because they seem to exert a lot of authority. All right, well, that's that. Let's continue. Man, I'm really you biowing it up right now, not even thinking about war, building walls or anything. I'm just thinking about building more culture and getting more cities down. Alright, now, encounter? Oh, so it does have to be a character that does, goes there. That's fine. Go there now and figure out what the situation is. Ah, oh, there's fish here. To this end, I'm still not sure if this game has Fog of War yet. I mean, it doesn't look like it, because I can... But I'm not too sure still. I don't want to be caught with my pants down. That's the most important thing. These guys have made it to the destination. Lots of hills in this area. Yeah, whoever takes these territories, they won't be uprooted easy. There's so many uh, hills and mountains in this terrible place. Very well. Next turn. Oh, but there's technology we could research. What would it be? Peace culture, authority. Let's exert our authority with some oracle bones. Move out. Take a look sees over there. Take a look sees over here. Settlers. Ah, you can build next to the rhinoceros. Very good. Where should I have you build the base? There seems to be no other resources in the area besides the rhinoceros. Let's just should I do it this turn or should I wait? Hmm. Having it a little bit fine. After all, it's a centralized location. Very well, I will move next turn next to it. Oh, you know what? I'll just park right on top of the goddamn rhinoceroses. Yeah, then it'll be centralized in this area. And I don't have to worry about building another city nearby. Good, that's what I'll do. I'll park my ass over here. Clear out these trees and build more farms. Build more farms! Because if my fucking people eat enough rice, I will become stronger! Explore here, explore here. 
Yeah, I might as well take a look in this area. Since we're exploring that territory, let's explore further to the Wu territories. There's still a large patch of land to the right, to the south, and you know what? I have no doubt that it's probably uncontested. And what are these motherfuckers doing? They're, they're, they're fucking forward but settling on me. I should have fucking get a settler there. God damn it, I did not look carefully. Now, now I lost these rhinoceros. Oh well. I can't build a territory there. I was thinking about getting the copper, but... Uh... Oh, what is this? I, I spotted gourd! I need gourd? I will have to get that something there. And you know what? I am getting quite tired of the fact that I have to control my movements each and every fucking time, so I will just tell them, Hey, listen, why don't you guys start exploring? Because I'm really getting tired of doing it myself. I am lazy. I'm, I'm fan useless. I'll just get you guys to do it yourselves, okay? But not this guy. This guy needs to explore south, as I originally told it to do. What are you? I'm but a poor man, outcast of my tribe. The lands around here are difficult for strangers to navigate. Build a map of this area. No, thank you. I will not pay you this money just to have you tell me about these lands that I already partially explored. You can go for yourself. I think I won't move him too far, though. He is, after all, the leader. Nice. Oh, he doesn't even have any authority on him. Probably because he hasn't fought any wars. If I were to explore with him, he'll go. Very well, I'm not doing anything special at this time. We'll keep exploring. This map is quite big. I feel like it'll take a little bit to actually take over China. Alright, let's build this right over the goddamn rhinoceros now. Tight! And we'll let whoever's in charge take care of this place. Yeah, it might not be a bad idea to keep things automated. Because there's gonna be a lot of a lot of things to do. Yeah, I can see what why that old man clamoring about how this place is ooh. Hard to navigate. Ooh. Start trade. Build bazaars and settlements. Begin trading between them. That might not be such a poor idea. What should I do? No, I'm still working on my intense expansion plan. So we will do that first. I won't recruit anyone else. Now, we will get our asses down here and get those rhinoceroses, deers, and all that fun stuff. Move out! Let's see, this produces food and production. I'll get those rhinoceros if that's the last thing. Maybe this will be a good, better spot. Mm. 
Okay, go. Explore, man. New power encountered. What do we encounter? Woo? Nope, we encountered the Zhou. Yes, we went north enough to find the Zhou dynasty. Influence, culture, authority. Hmm, the Han has enemies already with the white D. What do you wish to discuss? Payments, information, reveal capital, location. We cannot agree to this. Okay. In that case, we have nothing to talk about. Equal, our powers are equal, our wealth is adequate, and our stabilities are both stable. Or rather, that's their stability. But our power is equal, that, that part is true. Alright, we'll leave things as it is for now. Next, we will continue more research. Let's see, craft. Might not hurt to get that. That will allow us to build mines. Well, until then, advanced bronze working. You know what? I can do that. Increase authority by one, increase value of bronze trade. No problems here in my book. Besides that, I also want to get a settlement here with the gold and the fish. Oh man. But that's really far away. Let's uh, change the course of those settlers that I had originally sent. Tell them to go here instead. I need to forward settle a little myself. I'll forward settle here, get those fishes, get those gourd, and that'll be my my expansion. So I don't want to go too crazy here. I just want to worry about my Jing province and sit on my ass like a good Liu Bei that a Liu Biao that I am. All right, move out. I mean, just look at them. They even share the same color as Liu Biao. Oh, sure, sure. Use disease. Oh, they've got AIDS over there. We shall make sure that we don't go there too, too often and catch AIDS. So our auto explorer is going that way. But, well, we'll now find out if going near a city that has AIDS will also give you AIDS. Hmm. Be here. South. Nothing else. Let's go. I think I'll build those bazaars now. Battle to the north. What is this? White D. Seems these tribal people are fighting other people. We'll leave them alone for the time being. We need to go and uh, explore. Anything else that's going on over there is none of my concern. My primary concern is to... What is this? A Shang... Light, power, much stronger. Wealth, adequate, stability, stable. Much stronger, huh? The White D is also much stronger. The Han is currently now stronger. Hmm. 
we should consider expanding our military strength soon. First things first, though. Cities. We need more cities. We need more income. But I will get those bazaars now. Let's see here. Silk Weaver Bazaar. Five hundred dollars to get one. Yeah, we're gonna be a while there. Oh, board. Okay, first things first. The Ford settlement needs to be done. There's no formal declaration of war against us currently. I believe it's because the enemy is really far away. Which is good, because both of them are much stronger. Ha! <laughs> really, Liu Biaoing it up this playthrough, because that's what Liu Biao did all game. He barely fought, he only fought like Wu, and then he just turns into a big power. Sure, I can trust you, Whitey. You have, I have no qualms with you, I just need to know where the hell you live so you don't fight me or anything. Whitey, ha! Huh. I thought. They're in Zhongshan, all the way up there. So if they want to fight us, they will have to go through Han. And then they can get to us. And by then, I would already have a powerful... Look at that. White D and Zhou are now fighting. The love power declared war against that below. Huh. Not surprising, considering the fact that they're weaker. And I can't believe the Zhou Dynasty is going to go towards the same path as they did in the Warring States. Irrevelent and small. Well, none of that is my concern. My only concern is to expand, 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 expand until I have all of Jing under my control. Alright. Auto Explorers are still doing their jobs. We will go and... Oh, technology. What is this? Medicine. Use outfit. These. Composite bow, but horse domestication is quite handy. Hmm. Oh, archers. Dates era, Imperial era. What shall I research here? Acupuncture. He seems to be all about healing and such flaming pitch with flaming rocks and flaming arrows. Handy. But we don't have enough bows to do. So we'll just start researching the bow now. Oh, a bow, a bow. No, uh, let's get that domestication out of the way. Go. My plan currently is to get authority up, get as many cities, and then we'll worry about the other factors. Now, put that bazaar up as they say. For trade items, any other settlements that do not have. Production. Every settlement has some local specialties. Okay. Get that out of the way. We should really start getting that copper down, though. But the capital definitely needs to have a bazaar. Well, you know what? Maybe I should... Instead of this... I changed my mind. Let's wait two turns to build that copper pit. Generates an income of 12. Produce copper for trade. We need to actually even have the stuff to trade, so we'll look at the copper first. Go! But, yeah, I'm reminded why I didn't get too deeply into the game. There's, there's a lot of mechanics to it, and... It's not really... 
as exciting as Total War. To Shang, let's see. Find where you live. Ah, another northern faction. Yin. Okay, they probably won't be bothering us anytime soon. Yep, so just like in the Warring States era, the Han will have to deal with these people, get their asses kicked first before anything else will happen. Interesting. Now. Yeah, I think I started with a good faction because, goddamn, all these lands pretty much belong to me because everyone else is too busy jerking off somewhere. They'll have to take their lands by force, whereas I can just go and, oh, oh, boy, I claim this land hereby in the name of Liu Biao, and then I suddenly have this land. Let's see here. My authority now, what is it? No, I, I just four. So we'll have to wait still a bit. Well, then again, it's not like I have a choice in the matter because I don't have enough money to make more settlers. Very well, continue exploring. We'll talk about this. Keep exploring. But there's a technology. Anyway, this isn't even a serious game on my part. I just need to do 200 turns, and then I'm satisfied with this play. Let's see. Seedling. Signaling. Increased construction of barracks. Let's get that ram earth wall so we can start researching other things under craft. Namely, the churn drill. Get a copper mine or a gourd mine, that'd be really I guess the copper pit upgrades into the mines. I hope that is the case. Alright, begin. Battle of Bin. The Zhou is just chased out of their own city. That's terrible. The White D is just kind of tearing their farms apart. Settler available at Ying. Let's take a look at local power charts. Han is now much stronger than us. Oh, it seems that I should probably start working on my military, huh? But I do not care to flex my muscle yet. I just care about building more. <laughs> soon, though. Soon, my friends. Soon I will teach you a lesson, but now I just want to get on my ass. But it seems like most of the exploration is pretty much done. Maybe. There are some tough to reach places here. Well then again, no, I speak too soon, there's still a lot of land to the south. But we'll just let them keep at it. Right now I have the Xiangyang territories, we have... We still haven't gotten the four Jing loser territories. And there's Zhao Ji and the other territories in the lower left. Hmm. Not much work to do. Let's go. Keep exploring. They offer a one-time payment of a dollar <laughs> to have this fraternity pack. Okay. Fine by me, I'm weaker than you, and yet you are willing to appeal to me. That sounds beautiful. Yep. Yeah, seriously, I feel just like Liu Biao right now. Neutral faction that nobody cares to attack, and they just expand and expand and work on culture and never, well, expand peacefully without ever attacking anyone. No, seriously, uh, the whole time Liu Biao in the Three Kingdoms, he just kind of just sat, sat on his ass. He didn't go to war with, with anyone except Wu that attacks them. 
you know what? There is much benefit to be to be doing that. I'm guessing I need national myth in order to get that. Or maybe I need all three of these. Yeah, now I looked at it. Yeah, I think I may need all three of these. Wait, maybe not. Okay, let's get ancestor worship and we'll see. Battle of Bin. What's happening here? Oh, now we have barbarians. Attacking me, actually. What the fuck? Hey, listen, I'm exploring. I have no qualms. I have no trouble with you. Why the hell are you bothering me? Hey, wait a minute. Did the White D take that city? Yeah, that used to be its old city, and now it's the White D's. Listen, dudes, just stay out of my way. I just want to explore, huh? Oh, wait, did I lose? I'm at zero. Zero to 62. Well, these are just light scouts, so I can see why they would lose. But damn, is it hard to actually wipe out people in this game. Narrow defeat. Encounter friendly tribesman. Oh yeah, it's that guy again. Let's see. I saw that my settler has oh, here, but it seems that my settler can't build anywhere near here. So how the hell do I get those gold? How the hell do I get that gold? You know, if, if I can't get that gold, there's no reason for me to be up here. I I risk all that just to get up here for the gold, and I can't even build there. I would rather not get in touch with the northern factions at this time. Very well, if that's how the heaven wills it, I will have no choice but to go back to the rhinoceros. That, which is perfectly fine. My authority still can't really support more than four cities at the time. War! We'll crush you dogs. Who are they? The Shang? What the hell do they want from us? Why are they declaring war? They declare war on us, yet they're so far away. Hmm. Still, it would be... Noble Axeman, Militia. You know, buddy, just because I haven't built any military units doesn't mean that I am weak. Now I will show you my power and then you have no choice but to recoil and think about the bad decisions that you make. But I won't actually invade to the north because there's absolutely zero reason for me to do so.
I should probably recall my explorers soon. You know what? We'll stop with the auto explorer. On our own. We have to cross over the this river again. Of, we'll pull him back now. Four authority figures are to return to their capitals immediately. Exploration units will continue exploring, I guess. Let's see. Light infantry will continue exploring these territories. I need to get a beat on what's going on over here still. Yep, as long as you're light infantry, keep exploring. Everyone else, though, return. Settle in this return now. Oh, wait, what is this? That won't <laughs> reach anywhere near what I need to get to. Very well. Next turn. Battle of Feng Jing. Battle of Bin. Ah, now the Zhou is starting to show off their strength. Good, good. Hopefully they'll take their capital back or whatever that was. Honestly, this playthrough bores me. I, I can't wait to play 200 turns and play the Chun and finally play a serious playthrough. News of peace! So, and the White D is now at peace. Wow, they, they saw their army and just like, oh, oh, yep, oh, uh, oh, let's not fight, okay? And then they just keep their capital? <laughs> Interesting. Ooh. Now we meet with the indigenous Wu people to the right. Haven't seen anything interesting though. Now the Shang is weaker than us after I get all those units out. Hey, what do you know? Listen, let's be polite and have peace. What does this mean? It's I guess if it leans more to them... Yeah, there we go, so that's how it works. Alright, look. I'm not a particularly warlike person. Let me offer you a few dollars to tell you, hey, listen. Listen, listen, listen. I'm Liu Biao, and I'd like to offer you nine dollars for you to make peace with us. I have no reason to go fight you. Very well, I accept your nine dollars and not go to war against you. Excellent! I'm so glad you understand. And that's probably how Liu Biao ended up avoiding war. He just... Oh yeah, awesome. we're, we're gonna go to war against you. Oh, well, I'll just pay you nine dollars. And then Liu Biao gets out of jail free. But honestly, there really isn't anything. No reason for him to go attack me. Absolutely zero reason for him to. He's just... He won't be able to protect his assets if he were to fight us. What if the White D attacks? Oh, oh, too bad. All of our units are... Oh, in fact, he's already being attacked. What's with the stupid fire? Yeah, it's like, oh, oh, the White D is attacking. Oh, but all of our units are currently in Jing. It'll take us like 30 years to get back. <laughs> yeah, maybe paying... Uh, Maybe I'll just take his nine dollars and just go home. Let's speed things up. Maybe there is fog of war, and I can only see units that are nearby. But regardless of what, uh, there's no reason for me to get anything at the moment. 
No, I think it's better to keep these guys close at home. There's no reason to further. Unless I want to play with encounters, which is kind of cute, but I really don't feel the need to do so right now. Is this was a power over there? Did they belong to Shu? How many turns have I played already? I wonder. Let's see. Those are victory points. I am pretty high up there. Conquest victory, I'm at fourth. Military might is actually much stronger than I thought. My authority is now five, so I can get another city out should I so desire. And you know what? I do desire. Well field system. Divided into lots formed by eight families. Yada 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 yada. Temporary effect, peasant unrest increased by ten turns. Permanent effect increased ten. Noble unrest minus ten. Grant tax three per person. So the peasants won't like that. Which is cute. Not that I care. Let's see. Unhappiness have gone down quite a bit. But we have a lot of dissatisfaction. Eh. Eh. I think I'll worry about an edict like that when I have more land. <clears throat> That's what I will do. Recruiting those units just now, though, really does put a hurting on my bank account, but not necessarily a bad thing. I, having units now will allow me to take down the Han if I so desire. Or at least deter the enemies from attacking. So just having people nearby is enough. I mean. I'll just keep them in this. Need to, I will send them out. Actually, you know what? No, no, no. Peter died? How did he die? What killed him? Did the Wu kill them? Oh, yeah. Decisive battle. If they declared war on us, huh? You pieces of ship. Okay, I'll have to deal with you then. How historically accurate that the Wu will fight Liu Biao. I will deal with them accordingly, now that they have earned my ire. First things first, though, the leader needs to get, get back up here. Well, actually, no, let's not do that just yet. I, I could use... well, then again... Eh, we'll just... I could use some bowls before going in, but I think our infantry should be enough, right? Let's compare the strength of our two nations. Wu, equal in power to me. Overwork. What you need to do is be shipped out. Peasant units shall go this way. I want to get this gold, but it's so inaccessible. What's going on with this gold? Fish.
Rhinoceros. We'll plant ourselves here next to the river. Get the rhinoceros. We might end up fighting Wu, so that will be the high point of this campaign. Barbarians? Much weaker than us in their fighting shoe. Oh no, wait, maybe they're not fighting shoe, they're allies with shoe. Well, I have no reason to bother these people. like a battle there every single day. What's going on with this place? Building that I will need. News of peace, so and Baz now peaceful. Take my leader and all these units over there to take a look and see that Wu. We'll deal with them by picking their units off one by one. Hmm. Can't believe he killed my heir like that, that piece of shit. capital is Yeah, 
man, these lands are so wild and untamed. There's no reason for me to go and... There, farms are being constructed. Ah, I know how to check how many turns I have played. Ah, there we go. Thirty-seven turns. That's gonna be a while. Well, we can get to that two hundred mark. I don't really like the idea that factions are locked in the beginning. Sure, I guess it gives me a chance to play these factions, but... I don't find any of the beginner factions really all that interesting. Now the Han is messing with me? Interesting. See, they have no reason to mess with them at this time. Become a vassal. Population coming down towards victory scores and win the game as a vassal is by cultural victory. They will not attack you, but you can revolt by attacking them. <laughs> How interesting. So if I were to Oh, I'm being attacked by the trend. Oh please, I surrender, I'll become your vassal. territories since it's inside your territories well 
guess what? This means I will do a limited attack and crush you. And if you have a problem with this, then you can die. I will get my bowl now. Get that drill. Again. Battle of Nanyang. So, you scum, pillage my land, would you? I will crush you and grind you into dust. Archers. Some of our units are entering this battle, but these guys aren't seem to be moving. Shu is being polite. It also takes a million years to get to us, so I will agree to this. Alright, you pieces of shit. Get out of my, my fucking territory. Get out. Seriously though, what the fuck is the problem? Why are they here pillaging my land? I would much rather not have to pay them for this, but you know what? Alright, one, one more time. Here, I'll give you nine dollars if you just... Stop fucking around with me. Oh, I need six dollars to stop messing around with me. Okay. We cannot agree with this. Oh, maybe not. Let's try again. Payment of nine dollars. Favorite amount. I'll give you nine dollars. Listen. I don't agree with you. Then you can agree to die because my nine dollars is the highest you're gonna get for you piece of shit. I was gonna show you some mercy, but now that you have forced my hand, I'm gonna fucking destroy you. We'll keep these guys auto exploring. I am so lazy right now. Originally, I was gonna just do it manually, but damn it, that's gonna take forever if I were to do that. And I'll probably forget as well. Damn, there's barely any territories I can actually build a city on. I really don't understand the rules of this game. These look like good territories to build, but you don't get the option to build on it. Maybe you need to research on something? Anyway, let's do battle. Not sure why you would want to weaken your power by raiding my villages like that. But hey, if that's what you like, Han, then you can go fuck yourself. And then someone like Shang or someone like that, or a white D, can put you out of your misery. Huh. 
I tried to be nice, man. I tried. But if that's how it is, then, you know, I, I'm sorry. Then you need to die. Uh-oh, these guys are not as good, huh? Not to worry. There's another army coming in to hit you in the face. Battle seems to be 464 to 11. 10. But damn, is it hard to wipe out someone in this game. You think that with an attack like that, you can take them out in one shot, but nope, they just kind of run away, get routed. Alright, wrap this up. Let's go. <laughs> On see, it wasn't so hard. Now he can pay me instead. How wonderful. Well, at least you learned your lesson. Who will also pay me? Yeah, after such a display like that, I hope you learn your lesson, you pieces of shit. Now, I can go back to dealing with those people. I have a new heir as well. See, look, it wasn't so hard. Now, was it, Han? How was it? Hmm, but my money is a big problem. I need to make sure that I have money to, uh and other such things. This is unfortunate. My military is draining me a little. I should really start going to war against Wu instead of sitting around. First things first, I need to heal. But after that, I will definitely go after them. my gold though oh that earlier just now was how many turns it is fuck I should have just looked at that but how do I check how much gold I'm getting income is one thing but what about gold this is for victory Check the income. I guess income goes in the treasury after that. I guess any spare income that at the end of a turn goes to the treasury. Meanwhile, each city seems to have its own income that they maintain for their own units. Interesting. Right, first things first, let's go back to Anyang. Rest up. Something seemed to have hurt my cellars, but... Eh. Oh, I see a building spot over there, but... That's not what I'm after. I want the fucking rhinoceros, damn it. Or at least a fish. If I can't get the rhinoceros, maybe I'll get the fish. The lands to the south is getting harder and harder to uh, use. Reports. Sickness, farm, battle report. Anyang, it'll say clear victory.
Yep, and it's clear to see who is stronger and who is just a weak, puny faction. New power encountered, Chun. Oh well, we've explored so far that we actually encountered Chun as well. That black and red color, yep. That is why I want to play as them. They're so badass. But, well, I need to play 200 turns to unlock them, so this is how it's going to be for today. What time is it? I have to look at the time. I have to go to work soon. Oh man, it's already almost time to go to work. I better start getting ready to stop. We'll do like another turn or something, then we'll get ready to stop. Go up these units first. Any such locatable areas to build? This turn. Hmm, what is this? The toll wishes to give me money. Regular payment for five turns. Wow. So this is what happens when you're strong. You don't. You don't even have to worry about making money because other people will give it to you. I can go with that. I absolutely have no hostility with the toll, and yet the toll. <laughs> wants to pay me. Sure, there's no problem with that. Keep paying me. That's fine. Now, let's return to our primary concern, and that is more city building. Oh, there's a spot we could build over there. Given that these places are kind of hard to inhabit. Man, look at that. Dual rhinoceros? Dual rhinoceros and a fish? You know what? It might not be a bad idea to make the trip there after all. Take a while, but we can definitely do it. Dual rhinoceros? Yeah, we'll definitely do it. But the problem is, how do we get there? How did these guys get there in the first place? I think they jumped over these rivers to get there. Yep, it says navigatable river. It'll take a many turns, but I will be able to establish a city down there with dual rhinoceros and a fish. Or I can just establish a city here. But you know what? That's taking it easy. I will not do that. I will just go on this awesome trip to the south and establish a city there. Later on, I can just have Chai or some shit make a settler to uh, keep it over there. That's how it's gonna be. Mm. Let's go. Chun is now telling me, oh, let us inform our... Sure, 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 sure. If you're a million miles away, there's no way you'll ever come to me anytime soon. Unless you decide to conquer Shu. But then again, it's as they say in history, to conquer Chun, and to conquer Shu is to conquer Chu, and to conquer Chu is to unite the world. I remember this quote somewhere. But... That's basically what Chun has to do if they want to take over. So I have to watch out and see what happens with the situation between Shu and Chun. But they don't seem to be too aggressive at the moment. They're kind of just there. 
In fact, they haven't really expanded much. And there's a faction nearby. So they may actually uh, be kind of weak this time around. News of peace, news of peace, news of war. Zhou versus Chun. Oh yeah, if Zhou declares war on Chun, you know, <laughs> you know you're a loser. So it looks like in this game, Chun is a weak faction. Hmm. Let's confirm this right now. Much weaker. Hmm, Wu is much stronger. So they haven't actually made any moves on us either. They're busy dealing with the Europe down there. Hmm. So if we wait until they finish off the Yur faction, then it would just be me against them. Still, my money problem is a huge factor at the moment. I can't just keep building military units, so I will get these taken care of. get some roads down here, that'd be really nice. But in general though, this playthrough seems to be... It seems to be gonna be a rather quiet one. I apologize because there's not much war going on with this peaceful faction. Next time I play, I will definitely uh, make sure I play someone like Chun and be a badass and start conquering the land. But... Well, with this, at least we get an understanding of how this game goes, and the uh, flow of this game. But this game seems to uh, be kind of slow. A coinage. Harassing. And the power tree is really good. Especially if we're going to war. My current problem is money. I need money, so let's start getting that. Culture by two and culture. This is the she. I have no idea what the she is, but now we will find out. The local graphic script. Single concept. Common script. Yup, 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 yup. Move out! Oh, I now have the achievement trader. I'm guessing just because I build a bazaar. Oh, connect two of your settlements with a trade route. Well, what do you know? Here it is, a trade route. Oh, did they auto build a bazaar here or something? No. Oh wait, I can check on constructed. They build a granary, a pavilion, and a town here. Oh, town seems to be uh regular buildings. Okay. This trade route though definitely helped out a lot. Let's see if we can't build some roads now. Clear land, build roads. Build a road, build a road. Build a road, build a road. There, see? Very nice. Now we have roads. Build a road, build a road. Build a road. Build a road, build a road. Build a road, build a road, build a road. That's cute. Now we have roads connecting to each other. You don't need workers in this game. I like that. Later we will go and connect to the uh, southern territories, but for now this system seems to work out. We'll go with this. Oh, actually, no, wait. Does building roads that even cost me anything? Let's see. Well, I guess it uses manpower. Yeah, it uses manpower to build roads. Oh, 
Got it. We'll connect these two territories together soon. Goes all the way up to here, two tiles south. And now I understand how this goes now. With roads, you just use manpower. I don't know if there's any maintenance with roads. But, well, we have our roads now. I'm not sure what roads will do exactly. I guess it makes it easier to travel, but I wish I looked at the help file for this one. Increase the value of trees between them. Well, that's one thing I just realized. I thank you for this. All right, let the empire building commence! Ugh. I've learned quite a bit of uh, playing this. Now, when I play as a Triton, I know what to do to stay afloat economically as well. Can't build road over there, though. Still, with this, I can perhaps build a road like this. Oh, wait, I can't. Mm hmm too bad about Danyang, it can't reach down there. Oh, that's fine. We'll just use uh, Tai's manpower to build something over there, or whatever that new city is would be able to uh, get its own road. We need to make sure that all of our cities are united. Now, oh, your each granary, a silk reaver. Silk Weaver will produce us a lot of income, but uh, I would like to have this mulberry before we do so. How do we expand our territories? How exactly do these borders increase? That's what I want to know. Score two victory points. Upkeep per turn. Well, I'll learn that later. For now, we will just keep up with this road building. I'll build another bazaar somewhere in Ying next turn. Or Nanyang would do as well. I'll build it in Ying, my second city. And then we'll get to... Oh, what is this? Does not have an item. Do you want to turn out? No. I seem to have finished something. Craft. Pottery workshop. Chip building, boat yard, high tin bronze. Let's work on getting more money. Earthquake reduce damage. What the hell? There's earthquake in this. Just how many random effects are there in this? Well, having a pottery workshop might not hurt, because then I can make more income. Hmm. Knowledge. Medicine. Oh, look at that. I'm in the Warring State era. Soon. Horse riding. Five elements. Medicine. Horse riding isn't all that useful in the south because the land is all crappy. We'll go with the five elements or the medicine. We'll go with the medicine. Disease seems to be a problem. Culture I can wait until later to worry about. What does it do again? Also affects the value of trade with other powers though. Eh, but only with other powers. I don't think we even talk to each other all that much. 
Let's get the disease out of the way. Alright, I'll end at turn 50. And it's a nice even number, and... I shouldn't be late to work. If nothing horrible ha were to happen anyway. Disease outbreak in Nanyang. Uh, Danyang. You know what? I made a great choice getting that medicine because I really need to get that taken care of. Roads are done though, so at least we have that. Now, let's build that bazaar we spoke about. Explorers will sell. I don't think the Ba will do anything to me. But if they do, I will remember. Believe me, I will remember. These sellers are taking the dear time to get over there. They've been here at it for how long now? Come on, get your asses there. Build us that new city. Alright, go. I wonder if building boats will allow me to cross over like that easily. If that's the case, then I should really start getting some boats. Because then I can just ride on a boat, travel down this river, and then... not have to go through with all this moving around that I'm doing at the moment. Well, let's worry about that when the technology is reasonable. Hmm. Next turn. The roads are being constructed. They're almost finished. So now our cities will be linked. Well, unrest. I expect you to be safe and happy as Sage King of Old. If you do not, then the people see an evil tyrant. Do I have some problems or something? I don't think so. At the moment, our unrest levels are kind of checked. Yeah, there's no noble problems here. Here, there's no problems either. Both peasants and nobles are fine. Nicely suppressed now, shall we say. There's a little bit over here in type, but I think the rhinoceros is hilarious and uh, leaving them alone. If that's the case, then there's not much for me to do this turn either. Go. Almost 50 turns. Oh, it's already been 50 turns. Okay. Oh no, there's a drought! Oh no! A drought. What will it do? Has an unrest? Why does heaven inflict such misery upon us? But not to worry, the peasant unrest is nicely suppressed. You don't have any water? Well then, sorry! A trade route has been established over here. Good, good, good. Now my income is starting to stay afloat again. And instead of building a larger armor, I'll, army, I'll make sure that I have the money to actually support the damn thing. We'll build, a, we'll build a bazaar in Thai when the time comes. The road should be done soon. Six turns it'll be done. Okay, well then we'll just do that. The roads here should be all completed. In two turns, okay.
All right, well, I've inspected my territories. I understand what I need to do when I return. So for now, we'll save the game, and then we will continue next time. Save tour. All right, until next time, we will see if we get into war with Wu, we can crush them. And if we do, then having Jing and Wu pretty much guarantees me a victory. Anyway, until next time.